In this lesson we discussed about DCS system. DCS means distributed control system. It's a department that deals with the electronics control boards which are processing and transmitting the control signal from the field to the operator and vice versa. The DCS concept increases reliability and reduces installation costs by localizing control functions near the process plant, with remote monitoring and supervision. In DCS control system data acquisition and control functions are carried through a number of DCS controllers which are microprocessor based units distributed functionally and geographically over the plant and are situated near area where control or data gathering functions being performed. Distributed individual automatic controllers are connected to field devices such as sensors and actuators. These controllers sharing of gathered data to other hierarchical controllers via different field buses or standard communication protocols are used for establishing the communication between the controllers. Some of these include Profibus, Hart, Mobus etc. In recent years, the use of smart devices and field buses makes distributed control system, DCS to be prominent in large and complex industrial processes as compared to the former centralized control system. This distribution of control system architecture around the plant has led to produce more efficient ways to improve reliability of control, process quality and plant efficiency. Nowadays, distributed control system has been found in many industrial fields such as chemical plants, oil and gas industries, food processing units, nuclear power plants water management systems, automobile industries, etc. As the name suggests, DCS has three main qualities. The first one is the distribution of various control functions into relatively small sets of subsystems, which are of semi-autonomous, and are interconnected through a high-speed communication bus. Some of these functions include data acquisition, data presentation, process control, process supervision, reporting information, storing and retrieval of information. The basic elements comprised in a DCS include engineering workstation, operating station or EMI, process control unit or local control unit, smart devices, and communication system. Operator station gives an intuitive view into the process with easy access to process graphics, phase plates, alarm summaries, alarm phase plates, trends. Display navigation operator stations extends to diagnose from traditional process monitoring and control the diagnostics includes monitoring intelligent devices and machinery monitoring, cyber and network monitoring, thereby increasing process uptime and reducing unplanned shutdowns. Engineering station gives the flexibility to implement the system to meet project and process needs. Engineers can implement portions the system on the fly in a modular fashion as process design and control requirements become available. Engineering can be done in a phased manner as the process needs are becoming clear in a agile mode. With minimal effort engineers can specify control loops and field devices and then quickly complete the configuration. The controllers execute control strategies to help optimizing process. The controllers are available in a redundant and non-redundant configurations. The speed of execution of the control strategy determines the quality of control. The controllers are provided with rich set of library for various algorithms such as PID, Cascade, Feed Forward etc. The controller receives the input from the channel of input module connected to it. Similarly controller sends the output to the configured channel of the output module to drive the final control element. Process control network the backbone on which the entire DCS is connected. The network runs across the plant connecting all intelligent devices in a reliable deterministic manner. Process control network also called PCNs can be open protocol such as Ethernet or also can be proprietary. The PCNs are generally installed in a redundant monitor to improve the reliability and is installed away from regular power cables to reduce the impact of ills to reduce the impact of electromagnetic interference and thereby increasing the reliability of the overall system. System. The controllers execute control strategies to help optimizing process. The controllers are available in a redundant and non-redundant configurations. The speed of execution of the control strategy determines the quality of control. The controllers are provided with rich set of library for various algorithms such as PID, Cascade, 
feed forward etc. The controller receives the input from the channel of input module connected to it. Similarly controller sends the output to the configured channel of the output module to drive the final control element.